for standard 12 uh, today's topic will be continuation of the chapter on uh, genetics uh, today we will discuss about certain genetical disorders now you see what are genetical disorders the disorders which are generally transferred from the parent to the offspring to the genes now so that means they are transferred genetically through the genes Uh, through the progeny and it may be carried now this genetical disorders can be on the uh, can be due to a faulty gene which we generally call a type of say mendelian uh, disorders or it can be due to an abnormal chromosomal numbers so which we say chromosomal aberrations uh, also now there is a little bit uh, difference between a genetical disorder and a congenital disorder congenital disorder is a defect present by birth suppose a, a child has a hole in the heart then that's a congenital disorder so there is a difference between genetical disease and a congenital disorder now the genetical disorder as i told you there are two types the mendelian disorders which may be dominant and recessive this mendelian disorders can also be autosomal that means the group the disorders can be on the genes present on the autosome or it can be sex linked disorders also now the chromosomal disorders are mainly due to abnormal chromosomal numbers that means when the non disjunction of the chromosome takes place during meiosis sometimes the chromosome may not divide in the proper way sometimes it may go a fraction of it may go into the other part so there can be a difference in the numbers like say for example in down syndrome in klinefelder syndrome turner syndrome this type of disorders when it may be chromosomal uh, numbers uh, they differ in the so that can also lead to disorders now chromosomal disorders can also be autosomal that means say for example down syndrome it is on the autosome whereas it can be sex linked also like turner syndrome or klinefelder syndrome can be sex linked disorders so that is also a possibility now let us discuss about some of the uh, genetical disorders like hemophilia cystic fibrosis sickle cell anemia phenylketonuria and thalassemia now we will discuss in details about some of this particular disorders like let us discuss about the hemophilia hemophilia is uh, a sex linked disorder or we say sex linked recessive disorder this gene occurs on the x chromosome so we call it sometimes x linked gene so suppose the x chromosome has this defective recessive gene on both the x chromosome in a female we say the female is affected hemophilia female since male have only one x chromosome if one of the x chromosome is hemophilia carrier then they will be affected but in x chromosome if it is x say it an x this will be a carrier because the other x chromosome here act as a dominant because this particular gene is a recessive gene in case of male there can be no carrier male can be normal as well as female can also be normal so these are the different types of genotypes now effect what is the effect in hemophilia the protein that helps in the clotting is affected and that prevents the bleeding so it's called a bleeders disease once a person is having affected with hemophilia then if there is a wound the wound will bleed and the person can bleed to death second is color blindness this is also x linked recessive disorder 8% of the males and about 0.4% of the females they are affected they have a red green color blindness and it affects in the same way as hemophilia does the third is sickle cell anemia now sickle cell anemia is an autosomal linked recessive disorder now that is that occurs due to mutation of the sixth codon of the beta chain where gag is replaced by gug glutamic acid the codon for glutamic acid is replaced by a uh, amino acid valine now this causes the structure of the rbc to change and they have a faulty rbc structure 
there can be the, the there will be accumulation of hemoglobin at a portion of the RBC. So we see that in, uh, the next is about thalassemia. Thalassemia is also another disorder which is a sex linked dis uh, a disorder where there are two chains. We say alpha thalassemia and beta thalassemia. The in alpha thalassemia there is a faulty 16 chromosome. There is a, a defect which causes a faulty beta globin. I mean the beta globin that will be there will be faulty which will cause a faulty oxygen dissociation curve. In thalassemia, beta thalassemia, there is a defect in the 11th chromosome that will cause a faulty alpha globin which can cause membrane damage of the RBC and hemolysis. So that causes a hemolytic anemia. Then we have albinism. This is also a type of autosomal recessive disorder which occurs in human being, in other animals also. So there is an absence of uh, faulty gene cause absence uh, of melanocyte tyrosinate uh, enzyme to be absent where the melanin formation does not take place properly and the person by birth they do not have melanin in the, their absence of pigment. So till today uh, this is what we will learn about the genetical disorder which are mainly Mendelian in origin. We are going to discuss about the other types of disorders which are chromosomal disorders in the next chapter till then uh, be safe and uh, if you have any question you can put up those questions thank you very much